day to you. So today I wanted to talk about how you can become greater than your past experiences, than your environment, how you can think past that and how you can actually change physical disease and um, sickness as a result of changing your thoughts. So our environment that we grow up in, our circumstances that we grow up in, they often determine our belief patterns and the way that we then think, feel and behave. The way we think triggers triggers off our, our stress hormones or not. Um, it, it can trigger off really positive neurochemical responses as well. But if you have had a traumatic past in one way or another, um, your thoughts may well be based on that trauma or on that environment that you grew up in. So it's really important to be greater than the environment, be greater than the past, because if your thoughts are triggered by your past or by your environment, your brain thinks it's still living in the past. So you have to be aware that you get to choose your thoughts. You get to be mindful of those thoughts. You have to pay attention. You have to be mindful. Again, I know I sound like a, a broken record, but writing down your thoughts as you have them, you know, that overwhelm, that overthinking, writing that down as you have them gives you that visual cue as to what's actually going on inside your mind. And what you'll probably see is that those thoughts are very much based on your past experiences, on your environment. So you have to be greater than your environment. You have to be aware of those thoughts. You have to be aware mindfully and put yourself into this present moment. Because if you based your thoughts based on what was going on right now in this very moment, you'd realise that you were living in the past, that you've been living in the past for so long that your thoughts have become attached to the environment, attached to the trauma, attached to the conditions that you lived in then. To prevent disease, we have to slow down the stress response. We have to be aware that we get to control the stress response because when we're living in the present moment, and right now for all of us, um, the present moment is just a case of watching this video. This present moment isn't about stress. It's not about the past, it's about listening to what's being said. So the stress response isn't being triggered in this moment. And if you were to be able to bring your thoughts to the moment and realise that your thoughts create your feelings, your feelings create your behaviour, and if you're basing your thoughts on the past, and if you're assuming that the, your thoughts are facts, then what happens is you keep triggering the stress response, you keep triggering the past experiences. And like I say, you trick your body into thinking that you're living in the past now and you're not so to prevent the stress response now the stress response is your adrenaline and your cortisol your cortisol is corrosive so the stress hormone cortisol is like a corrosive agent inside your body and inside your brain and it creates acid the acid creates inflammation and it's where there's inflammation there is disease so we have to be aware that our thoughts are triggering that response we have to be aware that our thoughts are determined by the past and determined by the environment or the conditions that we grew up in bring those thoughts to the present moment journal talk do whatever you need to do to investigate how your brain processes because then you can take control and it is about rising up no excuses take control so you really have to become an investigator of your own thinking and to realize the damage that's been done by allowing those thoughts to repeat themselves over and over again get yourself a journal Start writing down, become aware, become present, become mindful of what's going on inside your mind. See what's on those pieces of paper. Make a promise to yourself that you deserve to move on, that you deserve to live in the present moment, that you don't need to be a product of your environment. Be greater than your environment. On that note, have a lovely day.